Konnichiwa and welcome to episode 42 of the Leadership Japan podcast. And I'm your host in Tokyo, Dr. Greg Story, president of Dale Carnegie Training Japan. And much more importantly, you are a student of leadership, highly motivated to be the best in your business field. If you'd like your own access to 102 years of the accumulated wisdom of Dale Carnegie training through free white papers, guidebooks, reports, training videos, blogs, course information, plus much, much more, then go to japan.dalecarnegie.com. Today's topic is engaged, energized, motivated employees. That sounds good, doesn't it? Or after a spot of self-reflection, is depression beginning to seep in? Why don't we get more engaged, energized, and motivated employees? Is HR just hiring the wrong people? Or are we simply unlucky? Or is our management culture and practice a problem? Oh, buzzwords really fly off the shelves, don't they? But just what is engagement? Here is a simple definition. Engagement is a high level of involvement and commitment an employee has toward their job, organization, and the organization's values. This operates at two levels, intellectual and emotional. Intellectual engagement describes the feelings an individual has regarding their relationship with the overall corporation and their role as it relates to the organization's vision, mission, and objectives. Emotional engagement is about the feelings of personal satisfaction an individual has regarding the sense of meaning, purpose, accomplishment, and connection with others and the organization. Japan is a nation of diligent souls. Here, you see people standing out in the rain and cold, handing out promotional tissue packs until they're all distributed. In most countries, check the nearest dumpster to find how the distribution actually went. Now, diligence is fine, and we enjoy the fruits of it here, but how to spot that rarer, more valuable bird, the truly engaged employee? Is your team brimming with self-starters, self-motivated, self-driven, self-disciplined initiative takers? Are they creative, imaginative, and innovative? Do they demonstrate commitment and go the extra mile? Do they have positive attitudes and spread positive energy? Are they great team players? How do we spot that other species, the disengaged employee? Disengagement is not free, by the way. It costs money. It results in decreased productivity, increased turnover, and lower morale. Look for these two varieties of employee. The unengaged employee may not be harmful and may just be circling the organization in a holding pattern. They may specialize in doing the minimum to get by, may lack motivation and commitment, avoid challenges, and be just drifting dreamlike through their work life. The other variety, the dis engaged employee is more harmful and dangerous. They are unhappy and they make sure their negative attitude infects those around them. Performance goes down, absenteeism goes up, and morale sinks. They are experts at focusing on everything that is wrong. They resist change and they undermine management and colleagues. How do people get to this point? Could you or your management team be the problem? Well, take a quick test. Do you have these perspectives about the people in your charge? Everyone is the same, like me. Everyone wants the same things out of work, like what I want. Everyone wants to be promoted. Of course they do. Everyone wants to be a manager. Of course they do. Everyone wants to live up to my expectations. Of course, I'm their boss. How did you go? Are you expecting the team to eat, breathe, and sleep work like you do? Do you ever acknowledge and respect the importance of family and personal life? Child care, parent care, single parent households, Generation X, Generation Y, Generation Z, Millenniums. The world has moved on from the old model, but have you and your managers moved with it? There are no shortage of survey results that reinforce that we leave managers rather than companies. Disengaged employees do a good deal of damage on the way out the door. What can we do about it? 
A key indicator of employee satisfaction and productivity is their belief that the boss cares about them and that the boss can be trusted. Incidentally, praise is free. Take a reality check right now. Stop reading. Write down the last time you used any of your praise capacity on your employees. How'd you go? Appreciation and involvement are cited more often than money as to what keeps employees happy. They need to be convinced verbally and non-verbally that you respect their position and that they are important to the organization's success. When was the last time you did this? What did you do? Do you actually believe it is necessary? Stimulating and valuable work comes out ahead of salary and advancement. Managers who foster involvement of employees and include them early on projects obtain more creative ideas and create greater employee investment and pride in the outcome. Is this your organization's culture? Is this how you run your shop? Employees are looking for opportunities for growth and development, both personally and professionally. Are you consciously investing in your people? Do you have a developmental system that allows you to promote from within? Receiving personal and professional development coaching from their boss keeps people engaged, working hard and loyal. At the same time, pay them fairly and competitively and they will stay put. Thinking you need to run the robots hard with no downtime may release short-term gains, but it blows up the culture and then the business. Are you blowing up the business without knowing it? Are you engaging them intellectually by clarifying and communicating their role and achieving the organization's vision, mission, and objectives? Can anyone actually recall the vision for a start and their place in achieving it if I suddenly turned up to your workplace and started asking them? How about engaging them emotionally, creating feelings of personal satisfaction, meaning, purpose, accomplishment, and connection? What steps were taken to build this type of culture? The really destructive psycho problem children employees are very, very few. And the dirty little secret about lack of engagement in employees is because it's usually management's fault. Now, if that is a bit confronting, then go back to the start of this podcast and place a mental check against every question where I question if your management team are doing what they are supposed to be doing. Invest in developing your managers and you will have an engaged team. Simple, not easy, but fundamental for success. Thank you for joining the Leadership Japan podcast. Remember to access your Dale Carnegie training, free white papers, guidebooks, training videos, blogs, course information, plus, 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 much, much more. Then go to japan.com. DaleCarnegie.com